Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do a fashion haul. I've been meaning to this for some time. This is stuff that I have kind of collected over the summer. Like here and there, I'll pick up a couple tops, a pair of shoes, a bag. So a lot of the stuff you've probably already seen on my Instagram. Not all of it, some of it still has tags on, but a decent amount of the things I'm gonna show you I have gotten some use out of. But the things that I've worn a couple times, I can tell you how it wears and if I love it or not. So I have stuff kind of from a lot of different places. I have some bathing suits, some shoes, tops, dresses, a little bit of everything. I recently was telling you guys how I'm trying to up my closet. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like after I had the girls and nursing them and everything, it just made me kind of fall into this slump where all I wore was t-shirts. Like, I have so many t-shirts right now. I have so many v-necks, crew necks, tank tops, like all solid prints. So now that I'm getting back in shape, I'm trying to just dress cuter and just have fun with it. So I hope you guys all enjoy seeing these pieces. I will try to link everything that I can find still online down below for you. And yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, first I'm gonna talk about these shorts because I wear them pretty much every day. I have three different washes of them. These ones are actually damp because they didn't dry all the way when I washed them earlier, but they're by Levi's. I have purchased these on the Levi website, also on Nordstrom. They have like 10 different shades in, of denim. So the back is just basic Levi's pockets. And then these ones are actually a little bit shorter. These have a, they cuff at the side and they are kind of a mid wash. I have two other washes. One is, I don't know what the, I'll, I'll find it and leave it down below, but the one that I wear the most often is called Waveline and it is a lighter wash. And then the other color I have is more of a mid wash, but they're a little longer in the length. So they all vary a little bit. I would recommend ordering a size up. These ones are the only ones that I got my true size. So I got a 27 in these ones. And then I got a 28 in the other two. But again, they kind of just all fit slightly different. But in general, I would say to order up a size. They are just so comfortable. They're not super short to where you feel like you're, you know, in like mini shorts. Um, but at the same time, they're not like a mid-rise jean. They're just absolutely perfect. And I think you guys all need a pair of these or a couple pairs. I feel like I need more because I wear them so much. A pair of actual jeans that I've been loving these, I just washed too. These are from Liverpool and this shirt is actually from Liverpool too. It's kind of this gauzy sheer material and it's longer in the back, but they have some really amazing jeans. This one's called the Crop and I have these in a size 427, which is usually what I wear. But the reason I like these, one, I like the color. I'm a fan of just like the mid that mid-tone denim, but I love the knees. Sometimes jeans that are too ripped in the knee area just gets like out of hand and every time I bend over, they rip so much. So these ones I like because it's just a little tiny cut. Here's the pockets. Just the perfect classic pair of denim. Okay, next this is super random, but I just got these from Urban Outfitters and they're these bralettes. So here's what this looks like. I mean, it literally just looks like a training bra. I got one in this cream color and I also got a black one. And the brand is out from under. I got a medium, but the reason I wanted something like this is because I have, I'm nothing anymore. Like I'm so flat. After I nursed the girls, I nursed for six months and it was just like, they're gone. So now it's sometimes like you don't wanna wear a full bra and you don't really need the support. So something like this is all I really need. I had a bralette kind of like this a couple years ago that was lace, but the lace ones rip a ton and they're just annoying. I feel like they don't last very well. These ones are super comfortable. A lot of people said to size up, so I got a medium instead of a small, but they're the perfect thing to wear under tank tops. I got, let me show you this. This tank top I just got from Nordstrom. It's RVCA. 
and I wanted something, oh my gosh, I feel like embarrassed telling you that I got a tank top because I was just saying that I don't need any tank tops, but I felt like this one was a little cuter than just a basic t-shirt. It has a little logo, but you could put this one or actually I would probably wear a black one under this because I think it looks cute when you see the black. And I also got this one from Nordstrom at the same time. This one is from BP, their uh, junior section. I got it in a size small and I like how it's just a sheer T. But then you get this embroidery in the center, which makes it a little bit different. And you can wear just a nude bra with this and it looks fine because I feel like you don't really see it in the front, but it's something that's easy to throw on, but is, is super cute. And you can just wear it with these shorts, throw on some flats and you're good to go. If you guys saw one of my recent Instagram posts, you saw that I had on a bodysuit. This is so weird for me. I feel like I would never think that I would wear a bodysuit, but they're really comfortable and super flattering. I like this one since it has a print, it's not super sheer, so you don't feel like you're revealing too much or anything. I can wear a normal bra with this because of the ruffle sleeves, and it's really comfortable. It has a nice material to it. I, I don't know if I said where this is from, but this is from Forever 21. Super inexpensive. This one doesn't have like the snap. I know some have snaps to it, but this one fits me really well. I got this in a size medium and I think it looks really cute with shorts. Okay, moving on to some bathing suits that I just got. If you saw my recent Instagram post of me and the girls at the beach, these are the suits that I was wearing. All these bathing suits are from Albion and they have the cutest mommy and me bathing suits I've ever seen. All the styles are just classic. They seem like timeless bathing suits that will never go out of style and everybody was just saying that they're really well made, super flattering. So this is, look how cute this is, the little top for the girls. I got a size, I think 2T? Yeah, 2T. And then the little bottoms. And this is actually their first little two-piece bathing suit. These looked so tiny to me, but they actually fit them really well. And then I will insert some clips of the suit that I was wearing. It's a two-piece. I got the uh, hipster bottom, so they're a little bit lower. They do have a high-rise bottom as well. And then the top has a really cute tie in the front. I feel like these ones are kind of retro looking. This next one I love so much. I love the nude color. It's like a, a creamy like oatmeal shade with these stripes and the little tie here. And then the back is just a little clasp and then the bottoms are more of the higher rise and they have a little tie on the side and these are really good if you guys are are struggling to find bathing suits that cover a little bit more I feel like all bathing suits now are so skimpy and when I'm running around chasing the girls if we're at the pool at the beach wherever it is I can't be worrying about my bathing suit all the time so something like this is is really nice and the last one I got is another kind of higher rise bottom I thought this print was really fun for summer and you can mix and match with other tops and then the top I got to go with it is this white and blue stripe so it's a higher neck and then it goes a little bit longer and then the back is crisscross like that and then it ties. I thought the two of these prints together is really, really cute. And if you guys wanna check those out, I do have a coupon code for 15% off of their whole site. So it's with Kendra15 if you guys want to get yourself a little discount. Next I got this romper from Windsor. I got it in a medium which works because my, my shoulders are pretty broad. So when I'm wearing a top like this, kinda of have to size up. If it was a tank top, I probably would be fine in a small. But it has this cross in the front the bottom is super cute and ruffled. I'm really into these ruffly things now. And then the back has a little slit and then it ties and the sleeves have the little ruffles on there too. I thought this would work too going into fall because you know, the fall time here in California is extremely hot. This would be cute for like a baby shower, a bridal shower, going out to lunch, whatever. The next dress I got is again from Windsor. So it's an off the shoulder, but then it has these sleeves and they're kind of cinched at the end. I love this print so much. It has a little bit of boning in the front, so it holds it up. It's just a mini dress. It's not super short or anything, and it is lined, so it's not sheer. And I can just wear a uh, strapless bra with this, and it's perfect. Next, I got this cover-up from Windsor. I've been wanting some type of embroidered cover-up for the summer, and this one was 
exactly what I was looking for. The sleeves are a little bit shorter than three quarters length and it's just open and it goes like down below my knees and I just thought this was so pretty. All of these suits would look really pretty with that. I feel like it needs something kind of muted and pastel underneath. Next I have another cover up but this is just more casual throw on. I got this from Nordstrom and it is Rip Curl. Got it in a size medium and it's super stretchy and the back has this fun little crisscross pattern. It's a mini length. Perfect to just throw on over your bathing suit, grab lunch or something casual. I was looking for some new cover ups and this one I thought was perfect. I love stripes. I also got one, I'm trying to think what brand it is. I'll link it down below, it's also from Nordstrom and it's a corally pink color and it laces up in the front and it's kind of like a washed look, like it looks like it's worn. But that one's also really cute. It's a little bit longer than this one, but again, I'll just put it down below for you if you want to check that out too. Okay, this I wore in Palm Springs, but I wanted to show you guys just in person. Online, I think they call it a chambray jumpsuit. The material is so soft. It is so comfortable and it is just a jumpsuit. So I'll insert p pictures of me wearing it because this is going to be impossible to show you. But I love the ties. It fits like a glove. I got it in a size medium super inexpensive and just really really fun for summer. Another dress that I have posted about, this one I wore to the Taylor Swift concert. This is from Windsor and they still have it on their site and it is this really cute sunflower print. The back is crisscross and it's really comfortable. It has a little bit of a slit on the side and it's sort of like a high low cut on the bottom. This would also be really cute to go to a shower in. Next dress I have is from Just Fab. I love this. You can wear it strapless, but I wear it with these straps. I had been looking for some type of dress like this. I wanted, see how like when you get to the bottom, it has this sheer part, but it's a maxi, so it's all the way down. I've been wearing a strapless bra with this, but you could totally get away without even wearing a bra because it has this over it, but extremely comfortable, easy to throw on, and looks really cute. Oh, I also got this sweater from Windsor. I was looking for something to wear to bed that was not super grungy. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to improve my closet. This I got in a, sm it's a small medium, and just a gray open sweater, cute to throw over your pajamas, or you could obviously just wear this with like jeans and a white t-shirt, and that would look cute too. I have two other things from Liverpool I forgot to mention. This one is a cropped white denim jacket. I love stuff like this over sundresses. It kind of pulls the whole look together. The Liverpool material is really stretchy too, so it's very, very comfortable. And then these jeans I do have to exchange for a different size. They're in the 427, but they just are a little baggy. These are the crop boyfriend, so it's just the fit is a little different. So if you guys like kind of like that baggy boyfriend cut, you'll love these. Just order a size down because I needed to get a, a two in these, but they're so cute. I love the wash and they're extremely comfortable. Last dress is from Nordstrom. I got this to wear to my brother-in-law's graduation. So buttons all the way down the front. Love this ruffle over the top. Again, this I don't even think you need to wear a bra with because it when you have the ruffle, I feel like it just kind of covers you up. And um, the back has a little bit of a cutout, and then it's a maxi, so it goes all the way down, but you get um, a slit down. Is it the middle? Yeah, it's in the middle. So it just opens up right here, which gives it something a little different. I have two pairs of shoes from Just Fab. These I just wore this weekend and they're so comfortable. Here's what they look like. They have this really pretty suede blush, and you kind of have like that espadrille look on the heel. Chunky heels are always way more comfortable, and I got them in, I think an eight and a half. Yeah, so it's they're true to size. I also think this would be really cute with some skinny jeans, like a white blouse. They're just like a classic slide. Also got these, I thought these were just fun, and I don't really have any colored heels, so they're in this really, I don't even call it pink, it's like a, I guess it's a pink, but almost has a little bit of purple in it too. So these are actually in a size eight, but they are still slightly big. Like I would honestly order a whole size down if you were looking at these. I think they have other colors in these too. The, I like the heel because it's circle. I feel like that's just really cool. But I just ordered some heel pads for these to stick in the back. To, give, to fill them out a little bit, but I'm usually eight and a half, and these are an eight, and I could probably go down to a seven and a half, which is crazy. One more pair of heels, these are from Cupid, and these are in eight and a half. I think these ones are true to size, I 
believe they're eight and a half. Um, but again, I like the chunkier heel right now. I had a pair of black heels and they just were shot. So I wanted something that was a little bit different. I like these because they have the braided crisscross. This bag is from Just Fab too. And I wanted something that was perfect for the beach, that was lightweight, and you can still fit a lot of stuff in here. But I was just kind of on the hunt for a straw looking bag and this is perfect. Okay, last top is another thing from Just Fab. And I'm going to wear this for 4th of July. I don't know when this video is going to go up. But I thought it was so cute. I love the stars. And this fabric feels so nice. And I'm going to tie it here. If it's really hot on 4th of July, I'll just wear a tank top underneath and wear this like unbuttoned over it. And then maybe some jean shorts. But it's also longer in the back. I thought it'd be cute all tucked in to shorts too. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of these pieces and got some ideas for maybe some new things that you'd want to incorporate into your wardrobe. I'll try to link as much as I can down below for you guys, and I hope you all are enjoying your day, enjoying your summer. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.